Hi, I'm Jared Dillingham, just about to return our rental car in Ponta Delgada and wanted to share a few things about our driving experience here in the Azores. When you land in the Azores, the airport in Ponta Delgada has a lot of rental car companies to choose from. If you can, get to the counter as quickly as possible because long lines can form after planes land. Make sure to ask for an automatic transmission since most rental cars in the Azores are manual. And since people always ask, yes, you do drive on the right side of the road in the Azores, it's part of Portugal, not the UK. You'll find narrow streets through the city of Ponta Delgada, then mostly rural two-lane highways in the rest of Sao Miguel. The speed limit is usually 80 kilometers per hour or about 50 miles per hour. Between the windy roads and all the fog you'll encounter, you really won't want to go much faster than 50 miles an hour here, and yes, it will be very foggy many days, especially higher up in the mountains. Having a small compact car was helpful, fitting into small parking spots along roads near some of the crowded trailheads. You'll want to crawl slowly through these areas since there are cars and people all over the place. Other hazards to watch out for while driving in the Azores include cyclists who are all over the islands and construction crews. The roads are in great shape, but there's always work going on somewhere. The roads in the Azores run through farmland, so expect to see farmers with their tractors and livestock sharing the road with you. When it comes to fueling up, you'll find plenty of gasoline stations or petrol stations in the Azores. Some are self-serve without anyone working inside. You may have to use Google Translate to help you figure out how to work the pumps. Some of them are on your honor type pumps. You'll fill up first and then go inside to pay. The roads in the Azores are beautiful and fascinating. From the hydrangeas and the azaleas blooming alongside, you'll definitely want to check them out in the spring and summer. To the steam that vents right from the earth right alongside the road. There's plenty to stop and check out on your way to your next hike, beach, or waterfall. All right, so bottom line, you really won't have any problems renting a car here in the Azores. This might be the easiest rental car experience of my life in a foreign country. I'll see you next time.